success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you for a much-anticipated main event. It's his focus at this moment that delivers it. Manny Pacquiao versus Shane Mosley was a welterweight boxing fight billed as the Undaunted. Pacquiao was heavily favored to win, as many fans and critics believe that Mosley was past his prime. Shane Mosley stated that if he lost badly to Pacquiao he may retire. The contest generated huge numbers through pay-per-view, the purchase price of the event was $55 for American households, and the bout generated more than $75 million in television revenue. For his night's work, Manny Pacquiao earned $20 million, while Shane Mosley took home $5 million. The rest is history. All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Thirty-six minutes still ahead of him here, round one of twelve. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Unable to get to Mosley that time, he blocked it. Teddy, what do you look for early on when you're analyzing a fight of two power punchers facing off against each other that gives you a clue as to which way this is going? Who's doing the little things a little bit better? Who's using the jab? Who's controlling range? Hey, who's thinking better? Pacquiao scoring with that right hand. Blocks that belt line well. To the head he goes with a left hand. Two nice. snapping jabs by Sugar Shane Mosley. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Mosley's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. And a good three-punch combo by Sugar Shane Mosley. Pacquiao's blocking ability is doing well for him there. How about that left hand? The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Mosley's right hand scores well. Digging in with a left to the gut. Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. And that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you see in proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. Your head more, okay? Side to side. Lean to the side, then boom! Got to punch. Got to punch. Here we go. Round two is underway. Manny Pacquiao's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Manny Pacquiao. Mosley's able to land a good, solid left hand. Now 
Well, he ties up there. Able to get rid of that one. Pulled the trigger on that overhand left. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Mosley's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Comes right back at him with a left hand. He just missed that shot up top. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Mosley's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Unable to connect by Sugar Shane Mosley. And that's the end of round two. Manny Pacquiao's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. There you go. All night long, this is your fight. You are in control, right? No effort, okay? This is your fight. And round number three is underway. A well-placed left hand up top. Sugar Shane blocks that punch. And he just holds on there. Manny Pacquiao started at 106 pounds and then rose up and won a super bantamweight belt. But it really wasn't until November of 2003 when he claimed the featherweight title and TKOing Marco Antonio Barrera that he became that big spotlight kind of star. Yeah, that was his coming out party, so to speak. That's when the world found out just who and what Manny Pacquiao was. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Pacquiao's got speed, no doubt about it. You can see his ability to land combinations with ease. Yeah, but what you want to see now is how effective he is down the road with that speed. Does he place his punches? Is he intelligent with that speed? He returns the favor with an uppercut. Watch the hook. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Scores with the combo to the head. Ten seconds to go in this round. Good exchange. He fires back. And this round comes to an end. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Listen. I'm not going to stand here. Keep circling, keep circling, don't stand in front of it. You're okay, don't worry. You're doing fine. I think our fans out there will be curious to see your scorecard here at the beginning of round number four. Mosley's been willing to throw punches. He, his punch output is high. 
but he has not earned a round on your scorecard. Yeah, but Joe, that's why they call it the sweet science. It's not enough just to grab a guy, put him in the ring, and say throw punches. You gotta throw at the right time, at the right distance. You don't do that, you pay a price, you lose rounds. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Manny Pacquiao. Right to the head with that right. Precision work with the left hand by Sugar Shane Mosley. And he's holding. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Manny Pacquiao. Good solid overhand left. Pacquiao's hand speed right now, the difference with what we just saw, able to land that combination. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. What power from that left hand of Pacquiao. Final 60 seconds after two minutes of pure fury. Manny Pacquiao's putting forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination score. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. We count down the final moments of this round. And that's the end of round four. Mosley's health, welfare, and safety has been greatly compromised now that that eye is shut closed. You have to double the jab, all right? Look, he's timing you. Every time you come in, I want to see... Okay, breathe now. Deep breath, deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Round number five has Sugar Shane Mosley's hurt by that. He turned things around, and now his opponent has to be asking himself questions. Yeah, he's got to be. Shane Mosley! Oh, and there you go. He goes down, and there is still plenty of time remaining in this round. Mosley to the canvas and now beating the count. Let's see what he offers up at this point. Well, with a fighter like Shane Mosley, you see the outside stuff so glaring. I mean, it just shoots out at you. The speed, all the physical ability. But now you find out you get a peek at what's inside. Look at that. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? This fight is over. Pacquiao's gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. That's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.